Four Peaks botnet made $115,000 in five months just from mass spamming sextortion emails. Researchers at cybersecurity firm Checkpoint say they've tracked one of the sources of the recent rise in sextortion emails to a good old friend, the Four Peaks spam botnet, also known as Trick. Checkpoint says that since April, they've seen the botnet send out multiple spam campaigns with a sextortion lure, claiming to have compromising images or videos of the email recipient, and requesting a ransom demand. According to a report shared with ZDNet last week, some of these mass-mailed sextortion waves peaked at 27 million emails per campaign, with some of the four peaks infected computers sending out up to 30,000 sextortion emails per hour, when the botnet was maxing out. In the five-month period Cheekpoint tracked 4PX's sextortion campaigns, victims sent more than 14 Bitcoin $115,000) to the Bitcoin addresses spotted inside the sextortion emails, Checkpoint researchers told ZDNet in an email. These profits would be more than enough to cover the botnet's operation costs, Alexei Bakhtayev, reverse engineer at Checkpoint, told ZDNet. A short history of the Four Peaks malware currently, Bakhtayev put the Four Peaks botnet size at around 450,000 infected Windows computers. This puts Four Peaks in the category of medium-sized malware botnets. The Four Peaks Trojan was first seen more than a decade ago. In its early days, the malware worked as a worm that self-propagated via removable USB storage devices, Skype, or Windows Live Messenger private messages. These initial worm-based variants were tracked under the name of Four Peaks. Nowadays, the botnet is more often referred to as Trick, not to be confused with a different botnet known as the underscore Trick. This new name came after the Four Peaks authors forked and integrated the codebase of the older SD bot Trojan into the Trick Four Peaks versions we see today. Even since its early days, the Four Peaks gang has always used infected computers to send email spam, rather than steal data from infected hosts, or deploy second-stage malware as part of a rentable pay-per-install malware as a service operation. For most of its lifetime, Four Peaks was a small player, compared to other spam botnets. This changed in May 2018 when the retooled Four Peaks version became a major player on the spam scene, according to a Proofpoint report published at the time. Historically, the Four Peaks spam bots have been seen pushing almost all major malware variants, from banking trojans to ransomware, and from infostealers to shady pharmaceutical product spam. In hindsight, Four Peaks getting involved in the recent trend of sextortion email spam campaigns isn't really a surprise, since it's right up their alley and area of expertise. Four Peaks scared users by showing one of their passwords and the most interesting part of 4PX's recent sextortion email campaigns is that the sextortion emails didn't just claim they had sexual videos of the victim, but they also claimed to have one of the victim's passwords. Bakhtayev told ZDNet that while analyzing the veridity of these claims he discovered that all the email addresses used in the sextortion campaigns were also present in the Have I Been PWNED database. The researcher suggests the email plus password combos most likely came from past data breaches at various companies, data that made it into the public domain, and eventually into the Four Peaks gang's hands. However, it doesn't mean that they don't use other databases. Bakhtayev told. For more updates subscribe and share this video.